Hi, my name is Ray Adams, Chartered Financial Planner and Founder of CashCalc. First one, very simple, use realistic assumptions. There is no point in saying inflation is going to be 1% and we're going to give you 10% return because you're just going to show the client having squillions of pounds in retirement and that serves no purpose at all. I'm sure you're already aware of that, but it's a very, very simple rule. Make your assumptions realistic. And if you're going to invest in equities, don't project as if the returns are in cash. Project equity returns. Fairly simple, really. The second tip, use the timeline feature. Now, this was some added functionality we incorporated a few years ago, and I think it's great. So previously, when you used CashCalc, and, and in fact now, you can link an expense or an event or, or an income to an age. So for example, you could say, uh, I plan to retire at, at 65, so my income is going to end at 65. And you can just do a drop down for age 65. And in addition to that, you could say, and I'm going to go on a round the world cruise when I'm 66. And you just select the age 66 and 10,000 quid or whatever it is. But if you create a timeline, so create an event and call that event world cruise and another event called retirement, then you can link the expense, i.e. £10,000 for the world cruise, to that event, which you can then set at age 66. But once you build your cash flow, you could, live with the client, literally say, well, what if you wanted to do this earlier? And you would slide the timeline from 66 to 63. And behind the scenes, it changes everything linked to that event. Now, in the case of a, of a round the world cruise, it would just be a one-off expense of £10,000. But of course, if it was retirement, it would end uh, their income, it may end certain expenditure, it might start new expenditure. So, literally, by sliding one slider, it can change five, six, seven different income or expense sources linked to that. So, I'd really, really encourage you to try using the timeline feature. My third tip is utilize the clone function or copy, whatever you want to call it. We call it the clone function. So when I designed CashCalc, I wanted it to be really, really simple to build something. I wanted a powerful engine of calculations behind the scenes and then really simple outputs that the client could understand. And I also wanted you to be able to build a cash flow in 10, 15, 20 minutes. So I didn't want it to take hours and hours and hours. So if you've spent that 10, 15, 20 minutes building it and you've got it all what you want, you might want to then show the client some alternative examples like retiring early or a stress test on, on the portfolio of a stock market crash. Now to do that, you don't want to rebuild it all again. So you've got your base plan that you've built. So we built the functionality that having built that, you can literally just press the clone button so it's taking you 20 minutes to build it and 20 seconds to build an identical copy. You can then go in and make some minor adjustments. So for example, in the first, first example, you could say I was going to retire at 60. In the second one, I want to retire at 55. And you just tweak a few things on the timeline and then you can present both options to the client. You could even then do a third clone and apply some stress testing to it or things of that nature. So my fourth tip is I'd encourage you to build or utilize your own bespoke portfolios. So when we first built CashCalc, we built it that you could project the returns in the future on a linear basis. So for example, 4.5% a year return against 2.5% inflation. Now, lots of people would then say, well, ah, markets don't perform in a linear fashion. And you're right, in many respects they don't. But because CashCalc is in today's terms or real terms, 4.5% return against 2.5% inflation just says no matter what inflation is going to be, we're just going to outperform it by 2%. So linear is not all bad, like people say, but there are some limitations. So several years ago, we built the functionality that you could do variable returns. And we pre-populated the system with cautious, balanced, adventurous sector um, performance going back 30 years. But I'd encourage you to either create your own bespoke portfolio of what you're recommending, and then you can show to the client, look, this is what your portfolio would perform like on a linear basis. 
You could also then say, and this is an example of a variable return on the portfolio, maybe projecting back-tested history of the actual assets you're going into. And then of course what you could do is utilize the Monte Carlo functionality where you can overlay on top of that 10,000 randomized outputs. So incredibly powerful. So you could do linear, your own bespoke variable return, and 10,000 random over the top. So I'd really encourage you to have a look at them as well. My fifth tip actually is a continuation of the fourth tip because it's all about stress testing. I've just explained about the Monte Carlo, but we've also got the functionality that you can test any type of market event. You know, if the client's fully exposed to global equities, you could replicate a drop in the market of 30, 35, 40% and then maybe a year, two, three years to recover. So you can really, really demonstrate to the client what would happen to their portfolio and their spending if they should suffer that type of event. So I'd encourage you to look at the stress testing section because we have lots in that section. One, one particular feature I really, really like, and you might think, well, it's not really a stress test, but it's actually the meter goal. And I utilize this a lot with clients where the clients are not going to run out of money. So I go into the meter goal section and say, press a button saying, how much more can I spend and end up at age 100 with no money? So basically, the perfect situation where they are not the richest person in the graveyard. So they press the button, we run thousands and thousands of calculations and it'll come back for example and say you can spend £4,500 a year more than you are now and if you do that every year between now and 100 you'll have no money left at 100 and you're able to go back to the client and say you can spend four and a half grand a year more and your money will still last you till you're 100. So that's a great bit of functionality within the stress testing section. So I'd really encourage you to go in and have a play with the stress testing if you can. Anyway, they're just my five tips. Hope you found them useful. Uh, thanks very much for your support. Thanks very much for your feedback and good luck with business.